but I wanted to talk about that too. It depends if you want to make a larger and more rectangular painting with more story about a girl clearing the table and the diners just leaving. You can add those figures to the right. But we are going to keep it simple and focus on one figure here. So I have drawn the figure in like one third of the picture. I'm going to paint only this much. It's kind of a squarish format. And on this right side, while my work dries, I can, you know, uh, show you how to do quick figures in painting with less details. So to begin with, I'm going to spray my paper. I will be using the same paints from last week. I'm, ugh, I needed to refill them, but I have enough for today. I have yellow, cadmium lemon yellow, orange, cadmium red, ugh, and connectedon gold. This is connect. Uh, well, here I have. I will be using ultramarine, cobalt blue. And I have neutral tint with me and sepia. So neutral is more kind of blackish in more of blue area. And sepia is also darker in brownish tones. My my brush. I'm going to use a thicker quill and uh, let's start with uh, a lighter tone wash as you can see in your reference photo we have beautiful um, division of cooler light and warmer interior shadows and light so i will be using teal cobalt a mix of teal cobalt and a tiny bit of ultramarine for my wash Well, it is the lightest um, lightest we will be using here I'm still being careful and not going over the window okay in this picture I'm going to focus on the girl and the gla glasses which are mostly in when you have anything uh, the glass material in the picture usually that gets the highlight so I am going to leave that area white where I'm, I'm going to paint my glass more lighter to this side as, as I go toward the light uh, right part which is the interior of the restaurant my wash will be more warmer
remember the wash is going to dry light so don't worry about adding more pigment even at this stage in composition it's more about connecting bigger shapes together so if i squint my eye you it's easier for you to define your composition when you squint your eye and you connect big chunk of uh, values so you will see how that figure that that is more in sh sh more in shade is connected to the darker area or darker shadows of the furniture so that the shapes of that geometry would make interesting flow. So that's all going to connect here. I am a little careful working on this area because I am going to leave uh, the light falling on this chair. <clears throat> okay, I think I got the. while this wash dries we can have some fun figures like the same figure if i if i were to indicate this figure in my plan air uh, as part of your painting not just the focus uh, subject matter i would just touch for the head and keep the gesture in mind and also proportions nothing too detailed the gesture and proportion wise head is like seven time it goes seven times in the body your line does not have to be continuous or regular it can be broken um, and then yeah. nothing more than that mm, for the background you can if it is in the outdoor it might be greenish The hand is hidden behind the menu card, but I'm going to keep make the hand and maybe holding the glass. Yep.
Maybe the some cobalt blue with a little bit of red from the skin tone. And give this wash. I'm being careful not to go over my highlight here. I'm using my usual method, which is without taking help of tape or the white in the end. I hope I don't have to use the white in the end. Um, but we can do, we can discuss those materials later, maybe next video, using masking tape and whites. Well, should have drawn the glasses, but Okay, her dock is now connected with the chair. I am going to add some Bunstiana with my blue mix and may add, yeah, and I'm adding ultramarine to get this dark. I like to define maybe more red and orange. So when you're working on your composition, uh, you know, uh, try not to be slave to your reference photo. Concentrate more on your painting and see what it is demanding. So listen to your painting and let the painting lead you for your next step. When you when you're copying from your reference, sometimes, you know, it actually becomes more distracting and it takes away from your main um, message. You know, the proportions of figure are just a, you know, a rule that may apply on some people and may not apply on others. Uh, some are taller and their head may even go eight times in body or nine, which is fine. So just listen to your composition. If it if the head is just uh, like in this reference, I think uh, the head is bigger than the body. You can make some ad adjustments. Right. I'm going to leave it here and start working in the background. Where in my already mixed blue, I'm going to add more teal cobalt to give a, a cooler uh, tone.
so this time i'm being very careful and also my background this is also i'm working on my negative space and bringing out the the form of the chair trying to maintain the highlight So this background is also, you may call it negative space and it's bringing out the shapes of your group, um, shapes of the objects in your group. Adding a bit of my warmer mix. Okay, as I'm going to paint around the glass, I'm being very careful. Also chiseling out her face. It's kind of multitasking, <laughs> working in the background and thinking of your main shape. A bit warmer here. Okay, it's a little too yellow. Adding some red as it is going more toward the interior of the restaurant. I would like to add more warm. Just like to repeat some of the color and tone to to keep the harmony of Glasses are quite tall, I think.
So we do have some docks which we I'm going to connect later and that table and the lines of the floor that are, I'm going to indicate those lines because they are helping me with the composition. Those diagonal lines are leading our eye toward the main figure. So these small details like the, uh, the you know the floor the lines of the floor uh, they are there to the, they're kind of flexible um, the decision to either include them or to omit them is very flexible and it all depends on how much important uh, their role is in your composition if they are distracting then don't you can even change the direction. So, repeat, and then the shadow. Okay, in my darker areas, I'm going to add my darks, which uh, which is the neutral tint, kind of blackish, and cadmium red, ultramarine. That means it's going to be my warm dark. Hmm. To, to neutralize the reddish. Um, Okay, adding more automated in it. The tasks come in the end, but sometimes I like to just use it for myself to see my dogs and my connection and my. just to make sure of the d direction I'm taking. In this painting, it's more of the, you know, the shapes, geometrical shapes of the furniture, of the shadow, all connected to the, the figure, which is mostly in dark.
picking some of the dark with my dry brush. I don't need highlight here. But I do need some light. Okay. <laughs> I will let it dry. Okay. So coming to my, I'm going to pick some <coughs> smaller brush for the details. that okay I have a smaller brush for the detail and I would like to be careful painting the glass here my my brush is almost dry Too dry. Okay. Now working on the table.
Let's line up the table. Just working on my secondary shapes. Okay, face is kind of dry. I can go back on her face. When painting, I'm going to give a little detail of the features as you go more toward the center of the face, which is a nose, it's, it's warmer, so.
This brush does not have a very good tip. Oh. Okay. See, that's a small two size Rhapsody Kalinsky brush, but the tip, it does look like very fine, but when you put it down, you get three lines instead of one. So I'm going to switch back. My finish shape. I was hoping to get my brushes uh, which I ordered a week ago. The fine round ones. Okay, I'm going to let it dry and it'll come back on the face again. Meanwhile, we can do some details in the background. Using again my uh, mixing cobalt blue into my mix. cannot just leave the window white there is something going on outside too which we will indicate with washes And we have yet to do give detail to that chair and to the left side of the background.
the detail will include the artwork in the background. and her face I did go over my glass Pushing the background back. I have yet to do her hand that's holding this these glasses. And oh yeah. And her face. best uh, brush to use for the detail is the extended point sir rosemary beautiful rigor and now we can do the detail on the figure
to repeat the blue of her dress. If we can give more detail to a glass. Be much of so that's it. You can have one shadow of the door. Yeah, this one. Okay. That's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> I'm in awe. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> A simple, very simple uh, subject. Nothing much. Just one figure. And. Uh, one thing, okay, I can, let me, let me switch my camera here. Okay, so, well, do you want, um, it was simple subject and uh, I was not too, I was happy that I have this smaller brush with me. Oh, uh, can you see this one? So, mm. oh, what is that is number? Policy, number number two. It is good to just watch and not to paint along. Yeah. Well, ever since I started looking at the tones, although I am still a colorist, but now I don't look at the colors. I look at the tones. I look at the values. So it's it's easier for you to shrink your paint box. And only carry um, the entertaining color 
or you know fun colors if you plan to use it we will see each other tomorrow